Thank you for watching our presentation. Our paper discusses the different ways that support is exchanged in black churches and how technology can help amplify social support initiatives of the church for improved well-being of the communities they serve. Black churches serve a significant portion of African Americans in the U.S. According to a 2021 survey, 60% of Black Americans who attend religious services attend a Black church. These churches are a source of socioeconomic, well-being, and social support resources to low-resource communities. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, Black churches have had a slower return to in-person church services and are also most likely to report their congregation remaining closed amidst the pandemic. Consequently, technology has played an increased role in churches since the pandemic. Churches expanded their online presence through Facebook pages, live streaming sermons, and even platforms like GroupMe and WhatsApp. Some work in HCR has explored the benefits, design, and success of online communities. For example, we know that online and offline interactions can generate increased involvement, access to resources, and formation of new community ties in low-income neighborhoods. We also saw in 2021 companies like Meta collaborating with faith groups to create spaces for fellowship. Further, Techno-spiritual tools have been created to support Islamic pilgrimages, Zen Buddhist group meditation practices, and praying the Catholic rosary using a tangible wearable. However, we still know little about how to design, organize, and maintain online faith communities. In our work, we consider two research questions. What are the characteristics of care networks in predominantly Black churches? and how do they shape collective efficacy and sense of community? What key values do church members seek in online communities? To answer these questions, we worked with two predominantly black churches in the Northeastern US to conduct a study in three phases over nine weeks. In phase one, we interviewed nine members to learn about their sense of community collective efficacy, and social support received in the church. In phase two, we used insights from this interview to develop a prototype of an online community. We included four key features based on our prior work with these churches. The community challenges feature consists of four basic challenges around well-being activities members were already involved in, walking, scripture, reading, cooking, and meditation. We also encouraged members to suggest new challenges that they felt would be valuable to their church. Our fellowship partner feature is a strategic matching system that pairs users who opt in with another user based on interests and hobbies, gender, church association preferences, and their goals for the partnership. Our fellowship group feature allows users to create groups for members to emulate pre-existing church groups and support intimate connections between members. The Community Conversations feature supports community engagements across churches by providing an open forum to which all members across churches can contribute. Participants used this prototype for three weeks and then met with us again for phase three. In phase three, we conducted two focus groups. In these focus groups, Participants discussed challenges that they were experiencing in integrating the prototype in their church life and also values they found important to an online faith community. Further, we presented exploratory scenarios to participants to stimulate discussion about the role of technology in their churches. An example is displayed right now. From our interviews, we found that participants had a strong sense of community. However, many of them would not reach out to their community if they needed help. They explained that, If I'm emotional, I'm not going to contact anybody, you know. I like to do everything by myself. However, close relationships formed in the church allow members to identify when others need help, 
even when they do not vocalize it. Our church is close-knit, and when you have those connections, you can tell if someone's a little out of character, even if it may not be something overly dramatic. Participants also describe three types of care networks for exchanging social support in their churches. In one-to-one -one networks, members leverage the interpersonal relationships they have built in their churches to receive emotional, spiritual, and other material forms of support. You know, sometimes you don't need too much, just need somebody to listen. So I feel like I can call members and just vent sometimes. In many-to-one networks, church leaders draw on the larger congregation to provide support to a single member, regardless of the relationships they may have in the church. John just lost his job and you know, they need some initial help. People go into their pockets in a meeting and you'll be sitting there and there'll be several hundred dollars of cash in there. In one to many networks, care distribution is centralized in a single member, usually a leader figure. Individually, you're not reaching out to the entire church, but the entire church is covered only because of the way that the church is set up. Loss of in-person interactions due to the pandemic has impacted members' ability to connect deeply with each other. Not being able to see people and people were, they were just sad because they couldn't come to church. Participants emphasize the importance of technology to expand on the affordances of their churches by creating an inclusive, accessible, and encouraging environment. Participants also asserted the importance of delegating roles when using our prototype. They described two basic roles, leaders who steer interaction on the platform and followers who respond to prompts from their leaders. These roles facilitate accountability in online interactions and engagement. You know, when you need somebody who's that anchor, who's gonna bring you along, who's gonna send you a message, who's gonna check in with you. To summarize, the Black Church is an important source of social support for our participants. However, they may be hesitant to reach out for help when needed. Care is transmitted in the church through one-to-one, one-to-many, -to -one, one and many-to-one care networks, which allows these members to be taken care of even when they do not reach out. When designing online communities for these churches, participants highlighted the values of inclusivity, accessibility, and encouragement. They also emphasize that creating leadership roles would allow for increased accountability online. While these findings are not strictly unique to Black churches, it is important to support the institution in community care due to its impact in low resource communities. Our work highlights challenges and opportunities in supporting Black churches through online community interactions.